In Genesis 126, God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Well, let's break that down. God is not a creation. Everybody knows God is a creator. Yes. When he made man, he didn't make man to be a creation. He made him to be a creator. That's why he gave him dominion over planet Earth. Everything on the Earth, the animals, the birds, everything now is subject to man. So man is supposed to be a creator. You've entered the kingdom of darkness, you've entered into his kingdom, now start creating. Mm. God doesn't do everything for us. God equips us so we can do everything for ourselves. He equipped, equipped Adam to start creating. How did he do that? The Bible says he blessed him. The word blessed is the word bracha in the Hebrew. That means he gave him a power to create. The same power he's given us. So the, to understand how God creates, you have to understand the process. Mm -hmm. Created the universe. But wait a minute, how did he create the universe? The Bible says in chapter one and chapter two of Genesis, he spoke. He spoke it and it came to pass. But before he spoke it, he thought it. See, he created in his mind. Yes. Whatever he created in his mind, before he spoke it. Now listen now, there's a process. One, you must create in your mind. You want a house? What does it look like? I don't know. Well, you haven't created it. You got to create it. How many bedrooms does it have? I don't know. You haven't created it. <laughs> got to create what the house looks like here. Because that's what God did. He created it. Then he believed it. Yes. Faith to his thoughts. So you gotta, we gotta think it, we gotta believe it, and then we've gotta speak it. Because he released faith through his words. And what happened when he released his faith? Then it manifested. Because the Bible says, he said it was, he said it was, he said it was. Well, how come it was? Because he spoke it. How come he spoke it? Because he believed it. He's a God of faith. You know, you can't even please him without faith. He can't bless you without faith. The whole universe is run by faith. So you've got to build your faith. But before he could add faith, he had to think it. So how do you do? How do I create? How do you and I create? We think, we believe, we speak. And then the manifestation comes. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to think it. We've got to be clear. Faith is specific. Faith is not general. Don't ever think, say, God bless me is just, uh-uh, that ain't faith. Because if you say, God bless me, guess what he's going to do, Chelsea? He's going to get you a Bible. <laughs> every he a Bible, he ain't going to give you a house because you didn't say house. You said, bless me. Well, the blessings are in the word of God. So he's going to tell us now, listen to the word, study the word, read the word, hear the word. Why? Because the more word you get, the more faith you get. The more faith you get that you open your mouth and speak, the more blessings you get. It is that simple. This is how you create.